Hi everyone, I'm Linda with Friendly Plastic TV and on today's episode I'm going to share with you how to use pellets to create some porcelain looking cabochons. And this works with nearly any photograph that you have, especially your favorite ones. It's a super easy technique and I'll show you how to do that when we come right back. We're going to be working with pellets today to create a vintage inspired brooch and the pellets are going to simulate the look of, of a porcelain cabochon. So you're going to need some pictures. You can just print these off of your inkjet printer. You don't need anything special, but you will have to size them down in your photo editing program. So grab your pellets. I'm using, oh, maybe a less than an ounce of pellets. You're also going to need this product that's called gloss gel medium. We're going to use that over the photograph and that keeps the photograph from tearing when um, we apply it to the porcelain cabochon or the porcelain looking cabochon. You'll need any jewelry findings that you have. I have some vintage looking findings here. This one has a special space for the cabochon. Again, you're going to need your photo and you'll need your heating source. So you can use water, you can also use your heat tool for this particular project. Okay, with your heat tool, you're going to want to heat your pellets until they're completely clear. You want to make sure that you don't get these too hot because obviously we don't want to burn ourselves. And I'm going to coat my hands with a little bit of baby oil. This is going to keep the pellets from sticking to my hands and my fingers while I'm working. And we're going to roll this into a ball. This is super simple. Okay. If it turns white again, go back over it with your heat gun. It'll go back clear. Now, in order to create the cabochon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that right in the center and I'm going to press flat with my hand so that I kind of flatten that out in the center of this little area here for the cabochon. And the trick to using the baby oil is it keeps your fingers um, gliding over the plastic and that gives it a nice smooth surface that's free of fingerprints. If you get any fingerprints in there, you can just go over it again with the heat gun. Those fingerprints will melt right out. But once you've filled up this entire cavity like this, then you're going to set this aside and let this cool. In the meantime, here I have, you can see a little piece that I've printed off here off my inkjet printer and you can see that it's shiny. And what I've done is I've gone over this with two coats, just using my finger here. It'll dry clear. I can get it open. There we go. Two coats of the gloss gel medium. This is going to dry kind of rubbery and kind of plasticky and this is going to keep your photograph from tearing apart when we apply it to uh, the cabochon. So obviously you'll let this dry, put another coat on it, and then cut it out just like this here. It's time for the fun part where we get to attach the image. Now you can use this as a gel transfer and to create a, a transparent image what I would do is I would soak this in water for just a couple seconds and then you're going to rub the paper away. That makes a clear transfer. We're not going to go that far. We're going to use it as is with the paper still on the back but we're going to apply it with our gel medium. So grab a little bit. It acts as a glue and again, I have damp moistened the paper. When you moisten the paper, it allows it to be flexible and that way it can go around all the little curves and without puckering or anything like that. So put a light coat of gel medium on both pieces and then decide where you want your image and work it down. You can see that I need to trim off a little bit on this side, but I didn't do that ahead of time because I just didn't know quite where I wanted my image to be. Set that off to the side there. And just gently work that down. You 
You can fold any extra pieces around to the back if you want. Just like that. And you're going to let the gel medium dry. Take a look here at our finished sample. You can see that it's probably a little glossier than what your cabochon is right now. And that's because I went over with a little bit of clear nail varnish just to kind of pop those colors out and kind of bring that pattern to life. I also went around the perimeter and glued on some ball chain. That just kind of finishes it off. Attach it to your vintage findings and then look down here at the bottom. Isn't that be cool? I made that with friendly plastic and cloud clay. So we have a video on that and be sure to check that one out. If you need more tips, techniques, and ideas, be sure to visit us on our blog. We would love to see you there. It's at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. We're posting almost daily, lots of eye candy, and we would love to feature you. So send us an email and your friendly plastic work and we'll see you on the blog. That's going to do it for this episode of Friendly Plastic TV. I'm Linda Peterson. Thanks for joining me today.